Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Kendrick is going to make some uh, a little garden here and he's going to use some dirt to make his garden a little bit more beautiful. And we see we've got two measurements here. It's just four and five eighths. It's a mixed number. And then we've also got nine and one eighths, another mixed number. And so those two mixed numbers, we need to find the equation that's going to be used to find how much he used altogether. So really it looks like we've got a, a part part whole. So it looks like we're kind of missing our whole, but we do know we've got two different parts here. So we've got this four and five eighths, and then we've got this nine and one eighth. They're both bags of dirt. One's in a garden of roses, one's in a garden of wallflowers, but it doesn't really matter. We just wanna know the number of bags of dirt that he used. So really you see here, we've got a, an addition relationship that we are going to use. And so how do we add 4 and 5 eighths and 9 and 1 eighths? Well, those are going to be mixed numbers, and let's draw them first. So let's draw 4 and 5 eighths. So if we wanted to draw 4 and 5 eighths, this is what we can do. So let's just draw rectangles. So I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, and then let's, let's make my my eighths right here. So that's going to be, that's my fourths. I'm going to take each fourth, cut it in half, there's my eights. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So here's my five eighths. And if I just shade each of these in, I've got my four right here. So that's my representation of my four and five eighths. Now let's do the same thing for my nine and one eighth. So obviously we're going to have nine of these rectangles that we're going to completely shade in. There's my six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's get my eighth down here. Take your fourths, cut each fourth in half. You've got your one eighth. So I've got my one eighth right here. And these are going to be my nine my nine holes. If I wanted to, I can cut each of these into eighths, but there's no point because they would simply be eight eighths. So the, this is my nine, and then I've got my one eighth right there. So if I wanted to add a mixed number, four and five eighths plus nine and one eighths, what we do is we do this in a few different steps. First, before we even get started, we might as well make sure that our denominators are the same. Not necessarily the whole numbers, those can be different, but we're looking at our denominators. We've got eighths and eighths. And so step one, your denominators always have to be the same. If not, you're not going to be able to finish this problem. So they are the same. There's no need to change any of them into equivalent fractions. So that's helpful. Now we can start the addition. And really, if we just take a look, look at how many holes we have. Uh, if we count them, let me just count them. One, two, three, four. I'm going to keep going. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So really, your step one is you can go ahead and just take your 4 and your 9. Whole numbers just add separately. They're super easy. So we're going to take our 4 and 9, and we're going to make 13. Now, the second step sometimes can be a little bit tricky because it depends on whether your sum is going to be greater than 1 or not. If your sum becomes an improper fraction, now you've got to do a little bit more to regroup it. So let's take our fractions. We've got 5 eighths and 1 eighth. So 5 eighths plus 1 eighth. If we wanted to, we could just draw this eighths right here. And we could say 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my 5 eighths. I'm going to add another eighth right there from this 1 eighth right there. And guess what? 5 eighths and 1 eighth, that makes 6 eighths. And what did we do? Well, we did what we did in J, added them separately, and that's our answer.